Hey everybody, KC here. So listen, this may seem silly. This may seem self-evident. But on the other hand, I think this is something that we cannot think about too much. Uh, that we cannot draw attention to too much. And that is very simply the importance, the critical nature of really superior uh, customer service. It's just so important. So um, over the past week or so, Mrs. Content Guy and I, and, and I by myself, have had various interactions in various different settings with people whose job it is is to provide customer service, to, to interact with customers, to be the face of their organizations uh, with us. And uh, uh, it's a long list of them for a variety of reasons. Two of them, as it happens, uh, were car dealerships. Because my Mustang's about 10 years old, and I'm uh, starting to sort of think about maybe replacing it. And so we went to two different car dealerships because I was there was a specific car I was interested in maybe in maybe um, I'm getting. And, and at the first one, it, it was it was hard to get anybody to pay attention to us, and then it was cursory, and then you know, and then you know, the guy wouldn't respond to phone calls, wouldn't respond to emails. It, it, it was terrible, and. Um, and I was just shocked. Now they were the one that happened to be close with, closer to us. So last weekend we decided to go to a uh, the same uh, the same brand, but we you know, we drove about 45, 50 minutes away to go there, and there it was terrific. And the woman who took care of, care of, take, took care of us was fabulous, helpful. Got a test drive, lots of information. Um, yeah, she was a car salesperson. But I, I didn't feel overly pressured by it. I mean, I knew what I was, I, I could expect uh, from the experience. But as on that, on that curve, right, she was really, really good. Now, by the way, I decided at the end not to get a new car because I really can't think of anything I'm going to love more than my Mustang. And, uh, so I'm, I'm really good. But the, 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 the way those two experiences compared to each other, it, it was just remarkable. And the other time it was interesting, I, you know, I do a lot of self-checkout. And, and sometimes the people who are sort of monitoring those self-checkout stations, you know, they can be nice. They, generally, they, you know, they, 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 they kind of stay in the background. They're hoping not to have to engage with customers too much because that's sort of the point. But sometimes you need help. They come in and they do their job. But, you know, it's, it's, it's never an exceptional experience, I guess. Now, we were at Stu Leonard's the other day. And uh, we happy we were doing self checkout, and we ended up with a with a scanner that was being a little finicky, and that happens sometimes. But the thing was, the woman who kind of just swept in there, and she was so friendly and so nice, and she made a little joke, and she was, um, she smiled, she helped us out, and 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 and, and she you know, she was engaged in the experience, and uh, it was just so pleasant. And she didn't have to be; she could have fixed it and walked away. She was so, so good that Mrs. Content Guy and I both walked away and said, boy, it's amazing how, how different an experience is if the person with whom you're interacting is friendly, is decent, is just, it's just a human being, right? It makes all the difference in the world. And listen, again, uh, I, 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 in the one hand, it seems so simple. It seems so basic. It seems so elementary. But I got to tell you, just in the last week or so, as I said, it makes an enormous difference. When people are, are, are disarming, friendly, charming, they interact with you, uh, it can make the experience something really special. And, and I, I gotta tell you, I think in stores, it's really hard to teach this. You almost have to hire for it. But I think comp retailers ought to be really focusing on this more and more and more, especially if your name is not Walmart or Amazon or Costco, by the way, where they do it really well, or Kroger or Albertsons, if you're competing with any of those behemoths, boy, it ought to be your job to find those people, to train them right, to empower them correctly, to reward them more than adequately, because you have to understand they're going to be the face of your organization to the customer, and it absolutely makes a difference. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.